building micro frontend using web component in practice. What is micro frontend? Why do we need it? And how to build industry focused product faster using micro frontend? Hi guys, my name is Ramnik, and today you are going to learn and see what is a product, what is a feature, what is web component, what is micro frontend, why do we need micro frontend, and how to build micro frontend using web. Okay, let's so uh, quickly uh, understand what is a product. So basically, product is made of features, and each feature represents a business need. Uh, and what is a feature? And feature is made of three component. You know that you know it will have a user interface, which is called presentation layer, and it will be coordinating with some kind of backend APIs. You know, it could be microservice based, or it could be any other way. And each API will be coordinating with a database to store and retrieve information. So these three components combined is called a feature. To build any kind of functionality, we need these three components. Uh, let's take an example. So this is the example of Google Form. Uh, and this is the product used to build and deliver quizzes. Uh, as a product, this has a, uh, lots of features. Like for example, I can I can do uh, authoring for various question type, and I can deliver all these question as a quiz to uh, end users. And as a product, uh, you know, now th this product is using you know various component, and each component has three kind of layers. You know, first is a presentation layer, which we are seeing. And then it is coordinating with a backend API to save and retrieve information. And all those information must be stored in a, some kind of a database. Uh, so, so what is web component? To understand micro frontend architecture, we first need to understand what is web component. So basically web component is a way of packaging a UI screen element as a custom HTML tag for development. Like for example, we have you know we have seen HTML tag where you know we can we can make any kind of UI using HTML tag, but web component is a way of encapsulation where you can build some kind of uh, some set of component and you can reuse those component and those component represent a UI layer. In this particular screen, we are seeing two uh, set of libraries. One set of libraries provided by Salesforce, and this is called a uh, uh, lightweight web component. And, and Salesforce have developed around 250 components. And this particular example uh, is an iconic framework, uh, which is another web component library. So basically both of them are providing general, uh, generic reusable UI component to build any web component and to build any component or any product. So basically, instead of using uh, HTML tag and writing, uh, you know, and, and writing software based on that, we can use a UI library, which is, you know, which is packaged as web component. So it is a custom HTML tag and you can write a product using any framework, any technology as, you know, using these kind of technology agnostic web components. Uh, so let's understand what is micro front end architecture. So basically, it is a just extension, uh, uh, you know, of, of building a you know uh, microservice based architecture to cover front end. Like for example, in microservice architecture, we we define uh, backend layer and DB in an isolated fashion, but 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 we keep building UI as a monolithic UI. So this is the extension where you we develop everything as a single component and shared nothing, which covers UI layer. API layer and the DB layer. And, and this advocates building complete and independent component instead of just focusing on UI or backend side and focus on building reusable and business driven component. Like the, you know, the example we saw, uh, those were generic UI and microphone architecture, you focus on the business and you develop component only specific to that business. So let's take an example. So we saw, you know, the Google form product, you know, which was used to build 
and deliver quizzes. Let's assume that you know Google Form is you know is made up of a uh, micro front end. So it will be it would look like this. You write this kind of HTML tag, which is a custom HTML tag, and this will give output like this. And it already has integration with backend and so on. So not just we get the UI, we also get the complete uh, component, which includes backend side as well. And this is a just example uh, uh, of a custom HTML tag. And you know we can use like you know uh, we can use IMS QTI, which has already written a you know uh, the tag for us. We just need to uh, convert those tag into a, you know some kind of web component. So we write this kind of custom tags and we get output like this. Okay, so why do we need a uh, micro front end? So basically, instead of uh, building a product from scratch, you know, we can build a components and, and those components will be very specific to a particular industry. So which give us a power to build industry focused product faster. So instead of building a product using a reusable UI, we can have a complete uh, reusable component to build any product. And we can also focus on uh, customer need and all those components represent an you know, individual customer need. And why do we need web component? Uh, we, so we want a you know, component to be reused and we want those components to be encapsulated in, a, in kind of some kind of package. And the web component is the best way to package everything in a single uh, you know, set of custom tags. Okay, so now let's understand how to build these kind of web components. So basically, like I said, you know, each uh, feature, you know, we have to make using three components. One is a presentation layer, another is an API layer, and another is a data layer. Web components and other kind of UI library are fo are focused only on this layer, and micro front end approach recommends to build as a complete package because most of the engineering goes on this side instead of just the UI side. So that is why micro front end is a better approach instead of just building a you know, UI library. Okay, uh, so for UI library, we have a choice because micro front end is a technology agnostic. We can use uh, any technology to build a UI. You know, it could be built on Angular, you, and we can, you know, could be use React, Vue, or you know, vanilla JS. As long as we are building a micro front end using one technology, then it is good enough. But for a product, we can use any combination of technology. And for each component, we can use one technology. But as a composition, we can use multiple UI technologies if required. Then on backend side, we have a choice, you know, because it has to be a cloud driven, because cloud can provide scale and all the other uh, non functional requirements. We, it can satisfy all those non-functional requirements. So here we have choice. We can use AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. From feature-wise, these all are the same. Yeah, just AWS is most cost-effective. Uh, that's it. For API side, we have two choices. We can base on GraphQL, or we can base on the REST API. Uh, it's, it's based on the uh, need. Uh, if you want to go with a simple approach uh, where everything is shared, uh, we can go with the Graph API. GraphQL language, here we have just one service and it will do all those things with just one method. Or if you want to go with a simple approach, we have a REST API. For DB side, we, again, we have two choices. We can go with a relational approach, which is SQL. And then we can go with non-relational, which is a no SQL based approach. Then let's assume that we have encapsulated our component as a micro front end. So now we want this component to be reused. So let's package this thing as a web component so that so this component can be used to develop any pro, any project by using a simple just custom HTML tag. So let's summarize. Uh, Today we have learned, you know, what is product, what is feature, 
uh, and what is web component and what is micro front end and why do we need web component as well as the micro front end and what do we need to build micro front end using web component so if we build a uh, micro front end, we can build industry focused product faster. Thank you and thanks for your time.